So if you're like me, you're not a huge fan of the default browser that comes with your Windows operating system. Well, thankfully, there's a lot of alternatives out there, and switching to those alternatives will improve your browsing experience. So today, we are going to download a new browser. Let's go ahead and open up our Microsoft Edge browser to begin with. We're going to go to www.mywebsite, craigthetechteacher.com. That's craigthetechteacher.com. And we'll wait, and it feels like an eternity because this browser is so slow. And once it finally opens, we're going to click on the free download section here right at the top of my page. If it ever finishes. Okay, here we go. Man, it's so slow. Come on, you can do it. Oh, man. Okay, free downloads. And we're going to scroll down to, I've got like 80 free downloads on this thing. This is all the downloads I've kind of collected over my years in IT. And we're going to scroll down to the browsers and plugins section. And I'm going to download Google Chrome. Google Chrome beta is on this page, but we're just going to stick with Google Chrome for now. And this will open up my download page. And then we're going to click download Google Chrome fast free web browser. Wow, it's so slow. Come on. So slow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Download Chrome and click Accept and Install. And we'll click Save. And I'm going to wait for it to finish. Okay, so it finished downloading. I'm going to click Run. And it's going to prompt me with security warnings. I'm going to say yes on your marks. Connecting the internet, downloading. Okay, now it's downloading Chrome for me. I'm going to probably skip right past this in the video so you don't have to sit here and wait two minutes for it to download. Once the download's complete, it'll actually automatically begin the installation of Google Chrome, which is pretty great. If you have like a YouTube account or a Google account, you can actually log into your Google Chrome browser and it'll synchronize all of your history and your uh, passwords and everything that's been saved to it. See how my browser bar up here at the top is at the top? It's because I logged in. Uh, before. Now one thing that is important is we'll want to set this as the default so there's a button right here at the top that says default and Windows 10 makes this difficult. You have to click this drop down here, choose Google Chrome and then it may prompt you to say are you absolutely sure? You Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes we're sure. Okay so once I'm done with that I'll show you how much faster it is. CraigTechTeacher.com let's see how much faster. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's substantially better. So that's how you improve your Windows browsing speeds in Windows 10. It's that easy.